Okay, in this section we're going to deal with rigid bodies. Rigid bodies is basically allowing your objects to act as real world, basically using real world physics. Um, I'll show you base, basically what I mean. Okay, so if we add uh, a plane, scale it, S, S for scale, let's move it down a bit. And then basically we're going to make this floor a rigid body. So the way we do that, we go into this icon here and go rigid body. At the moment it's called, it's, a, it's an active type. We want it to be passive. So we go click on passive. Now this object here, we want that to be a rigid body as well. So we got rigid, click on rigid body. If you want this one to be active, so keep that the way it is. Now you've got this thing here called convex hull. Now basically what that is, it's like a skin surrounding it. And basically it allows, it's a different shapes. So if you want your object to interact with the world, basically using um, its, the form of what it looks like, you would have, you'd have it to mesh. Or if you wanted it to just be a box shaped, um, what's again surrounding you click on box so basically what i mean by surround is very hard to explain it's basically the outline of the object interacts with the world so if you've got a simple uh, collision object that it's less processor intensive say you've got a 500,000 pound 500,000 um mo polygon model and then you had mesh and you, you had it as a mesh uh, collision object it's going to use a lot of processing power so we, this is what you would use. You kind of try and use your intellect to decide which collision um, shape you're going to have on it. So for our one, we're just going to have a, a box because this is an actual box. So we just go box. Okay. So if we just then move this object up and then we just press play on the animation, let's just see what happens. See that? It's just falling straight down. It's basically because now it's, it's it's an actual real world object. So if, say for example, we, let's change the, the mass of it. And then let's, the surface response, let's have it bouncy. And that's the same with hair, the, the floor, let's make that bouncy as well. And let's just move this up again. Hit play, let's see what happens now. Okay, say we wanted to actually manipulate this object, um, the animation uh, keyframes on this object. The first thing we have to do is basically bake the animation. So how we go about baking the animation is we click on the object. So let's just the cube and, uh, and uh, the plane. And then basically we go to object, and then we've got rigid body, bake to keyframes. Click on that and it goes how many frames do you want to bake and we will just go 1 to 70 and then just hit OK and then it, this should appear. Now basically these, these are now our keyframes in the baked animation. So we could then manipulate the keyframes any way we wanted to. So if I was to drag this whole lot, hang on a minute. Press G to grab, and then just grab that whole lot. It just, it was see, see, it just slowed it down because I just moved that keyframe from there. So now it's interpolating that slowdown. So that's how you would um, bake your animations.